Yo, what's going on guys? This is uh, Keo Garnage here, and I know it's been a minute, and this is kind of more of a, an update video, and I'll let you guys know. I'm also dropping you guys a an LMG gameplay, which I don't see a lot of on YouTube, uh, at, at least from my perspective. It's a lot of uh, MSMC and, you know, submachine guns, AR gameplay and sniper gameplay. So I thought I'd mix it up for you guys and use something that's kind of out of my comfort zone, and it took me actually uh golding out two other lmgs to figure out an appropriate play style for this gun but um as for my channel um and everything that's been going on with me i don't know if a lot of you guys follow me on facebook and or twitter because uh, this is a relatively small channel and all that uh lately i've been working on getting to master prestige and i got to master prestige and then i'm getting greedy <laughs> really greedy so uh, i want to get uh the weapon mastery titles i want the secondary and the primaries i have i want to say around over 20 plus guns mastered uh that's uh include most mostly to, to say i have almost every primary golded out and maxed out uh minus a couple sniper rifles i haven't maxed out yet um the s12 which i haven't maxed out or gold yet and the assault shield so i have a little bit of a, a fun to play around with and all that but um that's pretty much what i've been busy with uh on top of a lot of other things in the month of december and november i'm really busy with work uh if you guys haven't figured out i work at gamestop and i you know and i work at another job at a grocery store uh as a cook so during the holiday season you have a lot of people coming in you know, getting presents, getting food, yada, yada, yada. So I, I'm booked for literally like 60 hours or more a week. So during that time frame, uh, I really wish I could have been commentating, but I, I really didn't have a day off for about, I want to say, three or four weeks straight. And if I did have a day off, I'd sleep probably most the entire day because how tired I would. I would wake up at, uh, I want to say, like uh, 6 in the morning, and I wouldn't come home about 11 at night. Uh, that would, that's on, on an average day, and I would come home and I'd play COD for about an hour, and then I'd go to bed, wake back up at, like, 6 in the morning, and, you know, rinse, wash, and repeat. But on top of that, I was, I had some very exciting plans for myself and things of that nature. And I, um, well, as you guys may have known in my other videos, I, I, I invested in myself in, in kind of like a pseudo relationship and, uh, things of that nature. Oh god damn it, there I go again. But uh yeah, I I found someone that I, I really connected well with and I you know, the plans were uh for her to move in and you know, she she's going a long way. And there's a lot of stipulations and uh personal problems and you know things you know that prevented her from moving in and it kinda it actually got me down for I wanna say about a solid two to three weeks. Um it I think anyone can understand that it, the disappointment that comes with uh, plans falling through, and, you know, it's it's a common thing, you know, but um, especially when it's something kind of big and something I was kind of excited for and kind of getting worked up over the course of three months for, and it kind of got me down and really put me in a bad place where I couldn't really focus on work and COD and I was really in a funk and I just couldn't control it, so there was that, and um, where I'm at with it now. Uh, we're, we're kind of on the grounds of not talking, uh, you know, we both made some mistakes, I obviously made some mistakes, and, you know, it's, it's unfortunate, and, you know, I'm trying to rectify the situation, but I'm not gonna press someone who doesn't want to talk to me at the moment, uh, into these, you know, and, and to you know resolving an issue if if they don't want to resolve it and you know if they don't that's that's all and fine with me but I, i'm the type of person that likes to resolve things and get shit out of the way and really break it out and talk to people out like what's going on and there was that and it really got me down because you know um i i invested heavily emotionally with this chick and kind of invested a lot of planning time and you know it was just a lot to take on at the time, and, you know, hopefully down the road the issues um, can be fixed or 
anything out of this could be salvaged. I, I really am trying to stay positive and keep a good mental note of how I should really, you know, go about this. But that was uh, one thing. Uh, also, lastly, I, I have a very bad anxiety problem. I deal with anxiety and uh, a manic depression ever since I was about, I want to say, 12 or 13 years old. And for a while, it, it came with a lot of uh, stress and trauma that happened early on in my, my teenage and, uh, my, you know, my mid, you know, my teenage years and my, you know, thir you know 13, 14 years old. And, you know, and I don't want to get into you, into it with you guys because that's, um, yeah, I can make a series out of it. I don't know. But um, it's it's a really long story. And if you guys on Facebook, you know, if you guys follow me on Facebook or have me on Facebook, you guys know the whole entire story because I kind of laid it out for everyone who, who really wanted to know. And I have a lot of really supporting friends that, you know, helped me through this and got me through this. But I went through a lot during last month between working, I want to say, like almost 11, 12, 15 hours a day to, you know, not playing COD, not commentating, and, you know, um, just dealing with uh, relationship issues and things like that. It, it kind of, in a way, got to me. And in the back of my head, uh, it comes down to the common denominator, which... Uh, I just wanted something better. I honestly just wanted something good for myself. And I wanted to further something in my relationship that I've felt worthwhile in. And it, it, it fell through and I was really disappointed about it. And it didn't help the fact that I was going through the motions of dealing with my, uh, like extreme anxiety and, you know, my, like, you know, my really bad, you know, depression issues. So... It got it got me down to the point where I, I kind of didn't want to do anything. I kind of just want to sit in my room, listen to music, uh, watch YouTube videos, and just sit back and not really do anything. Like I've, you know, and I didn't really want to play COD for a while because you know because of the sickening mentality, it made me unable to literally play COD, which is kind of fucked up. But. At the end of this, um, what I kind of came down to about a couple weeks ago that I, I wanted to stop commentating for a little bit. And it's not so much because I wanted to stop. I wanted to deal with uh, and focus on me for a little bit. And I've gotten past that point of, you know, all that shit. So I'm kind of back in a, a little bit of a full force. I'm going to get try to get back in the swing of things. I wanted to try to put up daily uh, commentaries for you. Um, hopefully, you know, a couple Swarm games. <laughs> every day but i am i'm trying to my best to move past uh the drama and shenanigans that has been plaguing me for the last couple weeks and you know i hope you guys do continue to watch my videos and continue to you know support me and the task force and what we do and kind of enjoy my commentary as i'm here to you know help you guys improve your gameplay improve your lifestyles and you know do just do better for yourselves and like always um like I always tell people, just stay positive. The wor very worst that could happen is, you know, as much as you let it to be. And, you know, sometimes you really just got to say fuck it and just go with it. But anyways, guys, uh, this commentary is going to wrap down. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you do like the content, if you do like the gameplay, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And also hit me up on Twitter and Facebook. And if you really want to go the extra mile, Instagram as well. So, you know, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, peace.